So in this video I want to talk about the number of ways to arrange a set of items. So I drew here, I have four books, and let's say that I wanted to know how many ways can I order these things on my bookshelf. So maybe this is the order, maybe it's one, two, three, four, but it could also be four, three, two, one. So let's think about this in a little bit more of a mathematical sense. So I'm going to write, I'm going to put the different slots here. So these are like the places on my shelf that I could put my books. So I'm, I'm getting ready to place the first book. So I'm going to put whichever book in the first slot. So how many choices do I have for that slot? Well, I have four books, so that means I have four choices for the first, first slot. Now I'm going to place the second book. Okay. Well, now that I've already placed one book, I have three books left. So there are three choices for that slot number two. Okay, moving on. If I've placed fir the first two books, I only have two left. That means if I wanted to place a book in the third slot, I only have two options. And you can see where this is going. Since I've already placed three books, I only have one option left to put it in the fourth slot. So if I wanted to know the total possible number of ways that arranging my books was possible, I would just do four times three times two times one. So let's see, four times three, that's twelve. So that was twelve. Two times one is two. So it looks like there are 24 total ways to arrange to arrange four items and I say items because maybe they weren't books they could have been they could have been anything they could have been four fire trucks and you wanted to arrange four fire trucks for any reason so in general If general, if you have have to arrange n objects, n meaning any number, then the total number of ways to arrange n objects is n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. This is like where we picked the first book, then we picked the second book and we had one less than our total to pick from and this was like when we picked our third book we had two less than what we started with to pick from and this goes on all the way down to one so until you have uh, all but one choice left at the very end. And so maybe you've seen this uh, before. You've seen this all simplifies into something called n factorial. And we donate, denote that with uh, an exclamation point. That's n factorial. And all that means is that you do n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 all the way down to the last item. So, for instance, 5 factorial, that would be 5 times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. And I think 5 factorial, I think 5 factorial is equal to 120. So, that was just, hopefully I'm right about that. Okay, so that's in the way, uh, number of ways to arrange n objects. Thanks.